All right, so we're going to do a nice class this morning, power Pilates, a little bit tougher than we have done. We're going to do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of a rest. We're going to repeat the circuit twice. Okay, it's getting light outside. This is very exciting. It makes getting up just that little bit easier. So let's start with our warm up, rolling the shoulders. Good, breathing in, breathing out. We're just going to warm up for the workout. Excellent. All right, take a nice breath in and out, warming up those shoulders, breathing in, stretch, opening up that chest. And out, two more. Last one. Beautiful. Right, touching the floor, doing a nice squat down and reaching up, stretching, warming up those joints, getting everything moving. And out. Let's go for five. Four. Three more. Feeling everything clicking and cracking as we warm up. Two. And last one. Okay, standing at the end of your mat, we're going to do a walk out into a plank and go down into a cobra. So standing up nice and tall, make sure you've got enough space. Rolling down, walking those hands out into a plank and then dropping those hips down, sliding those shoulders down and back, lifting up that chest. Tuck your toes under at the back, pushing yourself back. And coming up, we're going to go five of those. Breathing out, rolling down. And from here, dropping those hips down. Make sure you slide those shoulders down and back, lifting up that chest and pushing back. Beautiful. Three more. Curling down, keeping that belly button pulled in. Dropping down. Excellent. Going in your own time, pushing back and up. We've got two more, then we're going to stay down. Walking those hands out, dropping down. Excellent. One more. All the way, rolling down through your spine. That's it, beautiful. From here, coming back onto your hands and knees, we're gonna stay down. We're gonna take your left hand behind your ear, twist that thoracic spine up to the ceiling, and back. We're going for five each side, really try and open up. That's it, breathing out as you push. Excellent, one more. And changing sides, right hand behind your head. Push, elbow to elbow. Excellent job. Breathing out, really try and twist. Make sure you follow your elbow with your head. One more. Beautiful. Right, we're going to start the workout in standing. Standing up nice and tall. We're going to go into a squat, take your arms up. We're going to cactus those arms. So from here, you're going to do a cactus at the bottom, then arms up and standing. So we're going to go for 45 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one. So go into a squat, <sighs> breathing out. When you cactus the arms, Really squeeze those shoulder blades together here. Lift your chest. Weight going back through your heels. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Breathing in. Beautiful. Make sure with the squat your knees stay facing forward. Nice work. We've got 15 seconds to go. 
tummy pulled in. Lift that chest. Make sure you don't look down. You're looking ahead for five, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Standing on your right leg. We're going to go into a combination movement. So we're going to go into a lunge. Knee up. Then take it back into an aeroplane and back. So we're doing it as a, you can lift the knee up at the end as well. Okay, let's go. Knee, shoulder blades down and back. Breathing in, stretch that leg out. You can take it into this knee up here as well, that's great. And then we go straight into the lunge. We're gonna do 45 seconds on this side, 45 seconds on the other side. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful control. Excellent. Pushing back. Stretch and up. We've got 15 seconds to go. Whatever you need to do for your balance here, arms can be where you want. Let's go for one more. Reach and up. Great job. Let's change sides. So let's go. We're going to lunge. Knee. Stretch. And up. All the time keep your belly button pulled in. Shoulders down and back. Reach. Use those abs to help you balance. Perfect form. Reach. Whoops. Let's go. As you lift your arms, slide those shoulders down and back. We've got 15 seconds. Breathing in. Out. Lift the knee. Stretch. Great job. Reach. Push. Let's go for one more rep. Lunge, shoulders down. Reach and up. Perfect. Have a little rest. We're going to come into a plank position. A high plank on your hands. We're going to alternate sides. So from here, let me show you first. You're going to go knee to elbow in a scorpion. Stretch the leg out, place it down. Other side, knee, stretch, down. All the time, keeping those shoulders back, tummy in. Okay, let's get ready to go. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. We're going to go in five seconds. Go into that plank, three, two, one. Crunch. That's it, squeeze. Make sure you alternate sides. Keep that plank perfect. Make sure your bottom's in line with your shoulders, not sticking up. 30 seconds to go. Stretch. That's it. 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Breathing out. Nice. For five, three, two, and one. Whew. Take it back into a child's pose. Have a little stretch. Excellent. That's a tough one. Very good. Coming onto your side. We're going to go into a side plank from here in a half side plank. Elbow under your shoulder, bottom leg bent. We're going to come up from here and we're going to go knee to elbow, stretch. So you're on your knee on the top, bottom leg, other leg stretched out. Let's go. Knee and reach. That's it. Really think of crunching in your abs. Breathing out, stretch. Keep those hips up. Lengthen it away. Beautiful. Crunch out to the side. So we're not going in front, we're going out to the side. 
15 seconds to go. Building up a sweat. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Other side. Nice. <laughs> Siri saying thanks. Well done, Siri. All right, side plank. Make sure that elbow is under your shoulder. Lifting up the rib, ca rib cage. Underneath leg bent. Let's go. Crunch and stretch. <sighs> Breathing out. Lift up those hips. That's it, side, beautiful. Reach and crunch. 20 seconds to go. Woo, side plank, you know how I love it. 15, I find it so hard. Breathing in, breathing out. Five, three, two, and one. Perfect. Onto your back. We're going to go into a glute bridge dead bug. So, arms up to the ceiling, feet on the floor, knees bent. Lift up the hips. A dead bug is opposite arm and leg. So, we're going to lift up your right leg, take the left arm back down, and replace. Change sides. <sighs> okay, let's go in three, two, one, keep that belly button pulled in. Push through the heel that's on the floor. Activate those glutes. Make sure the hips don't move. Tummy pulled in. I didn't. Beautiful, 30 seconds. Scooping in those abs, push through your heel. You wanna try and keep those hips level. Beautiful, 15 to go. Awesome job. Breathing in and out. Five, three, two, one, perfect. From here, we're gonna go with your legs up. We're gonna go into a crunch. So keeping your legs up, knees in line with your hips, hands behind your head, breathing out. You're gonna crunch, chill in your chest, lift the head and shoulders, let's go. Breathing out as you lift, nice and slowly. That's it. Crunch. You wanna think about bringing your shoulders closer to your hip bones and your abs are pulling up your head and shoulders make sure you're not hanging on your head that's it 20 seconds breathing out as you crunch keep that chin on your chest crunching it up nice five three two one and last exercise in the circuit, come up into standing. <coughs> You're gonna stand on your right leg to start, leaning slightly forward. So send those hips back, back is straight. You're gonna reach forward. We're doing a little knee in, balancing on this right leg. Let's go. So it's like a little crunch. Tummy pulled in nice and slow. Your weight stays on your standing leg. This leg at the back is purely tapping. Beautiful. Crunch. Perfect form. Nice, we've got 20 seconds to go. Slow and control, tummy in. Squeeze, keep your chest up. Nice work, five seconds. Three, two, one, perfect. Let's change sides. Standing on that left leg slightly bent. 
Send the hips back, tummy pulled in. And let's go. Breathing out as you crunch. Reach and crunch. Beautiful stretch. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. So it's like a little ab crunch and standing. 20 seconds to go. Perfect. Always keep those shoulder blades away from the ears so we're not hunching. If your back's getting uncomfortable, stand up. You can just do a high knee. For three, two, one. Very nice. Have a little rest. In that position, when you send your hips back, you've really got to pull the tummy in and try not to lean forward. You almost want to send your bum back so that from here, your bum goes back. It's less pressure on your spine. Pull that tummy in. If you're finding you're leaning forward from here, and you can see the difference, my shoulders are in front of my feet, or here, my shoulders are actually in line with my feet. It just helps protect your back, okay? Grab some water, perfect. <coughs> Try not to breathe in my water. Right, we're gonna go for round two. Squat, cactus, and up. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one. So we're gonna reach. Cactus. I want you to focus on pulling your belly button in the whole time. So even if you wanna feel those abs, make sure they're working the whole time. With the squat, you also send your bottom back. So the weight's not through the Sorry. spine. Siri is very talkative to me this morning. Perfect. Weight through your heels. Even lift up your toes. Excellent. 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Amazing job. Five. Three, two, one, and up. Perfect. Standing on your right leg. We're going to go into our lunge, knee lift, stretch and up. Let's go. Arms up, lunge, pull the belly button in, stretch, shoulders down and back. Use your abs and your core to help you balance. Your core involves those shoulder blades, your tummy, your glutes. So you want to activate everything, slow and controlled, beautiful, reach, we got 15 seconds, lunge, knee, stretch, very nice, reach it away, let's do one more lunge, lunge, Stretch and up. Perfect. Changing sides. Setting it up, standing on that left leg. And let's go. Lunge, knee. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful. Really slow and controlled. Use those abs to lift the knee. If you want to feel where your core is, it's just on the inside of those hip bones and make sure they're working. Difficult in standing and moving, but they have to be contracted. Great job. 20 seconds to go. Use your breath to help. Slide those shoulders down and back. One more lunge, let's go. Lunge, knee, stretch it away and up beautiful well done coming down onto your mat we're going to go into the plank scorpion this is a tough one so from here knee to elbow lift the foot up 
tap it down and change. We're going to go for 45 seconds. Let's set it up. Three, two, one. Crunch. So with this, like any plank, shoulders down and back. Back is flat. If you find this action too difficult, just hold the plank. Don't let your hips drop. Keep them up in line with your shoulders. Back stays parallel to the floor. Tummy in away from the floor. Beautiful. We've got 10 seconds. Push your hands into the floor. Tummy pulled in. Three, two, one. Have a little stretch. Excellent. Coming onto your side. Side plank, knee to elbow, half side plank. Elbow on the floor under your shoulder. Lift up that rib cage. Slide the shoulder down and back. We're going to reach knee to elbow. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Crunch. <sighs> Breathing out. Don't put the foot down on the floor in between. Keep it up. That's it. <sighs> Breathing out as you crunch. Stretch. 20 seconds to go. Tummy pulled in as you crunch. <sighs> 10 seconds. Reach. Five. Three, two, one. Changing sides. Excellent. We're powering through the second round. Elbow directly under the shoulder. Lift up those rib cage. Knee there. And let's go. Crunch and stretch. Beautiful. We're nearly done. We've got three more exercises to go. And reach. 20 seconds. Breathing out as you crunch. 10. Five, three, two, and one. Wow, that one was hard for me. Okay, coming onto your back. Some people find side work really easy. It's really like my nemesis. Okay, dead bug glute bridge. Arms up to the ceiling, heels nice and close to your bottom. If you can touch them, knees apart. Lifting up those hips, tilt that pelvis. And let's go, opposite arm and leg. Breathing out, keep those hips level. So as you lift the leg, you don't want your hips to drop. Use your abs. Push through the heel that's on the floor. Excellent. 20 seconds to go. Breathing in. Scoop those abs in. Keep that connection. 10 seconds. 5, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Staying on your back. Lift those legs up into tabletop. Hands behind your head. We're going to go into our crunch. Tummy pulled in. Tilt the coccyx to your nose. Hands behind your head. And let's go. Remember, use your abs to pull your head and shoulders up. Breathing out as you crunch. Chin on your chest. Excellent. Very nice. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in. We got 15 seconds. That's it. Make sure that back stays glued to the floor. And crunch for five, three, two, and one. Coming up into our standing position. Last exercise. 
tapping that leg, doing a little crunch and standing. Standing on your right leg to start. So with this, if you find your back hurts, just do, you can just literally do a standing crunch like this if you find it's uncomfortable, okay? Standing on the right leg, send those hips back, tummy pulled in, and let's go. Reach. So for anyone feeling their back, just crunch in front. Make sure those abs are connected. And I want you to do like a little crunch. Really squeeze. Breathing out, pull the belly button in away from the floor. That's it, squeeze. 20 seconds to go. Tummy in, shoulders down and back, that's it, but crunch. Beautiful, five seconds. Three, two, one, and changing legs. When you do the crunch, I want to see the little change. You're going to crunch and then stretch. So you're going to change an angle, okay? We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. That back leg is tapping. And stretch. Perfect. Crunch. Slow and controlled. Breathing out. 20 seconds to go. Squeeze. Excellent. Whoops. 10. 5. 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Let's stay standing. Do some stretching and standing. Cross your right leg over your left and hang down towards the floor. You want to relax your head. Relax your arms. Breathing out. Rolling up. And let's change sides. Left leg over your right. Hanging all the way down to the floor. That's it. From here, opening up those legs a little bit wider, so you've got a nice sort of triangle. Hang your arms and your head down to the floor. And we're just going to hold onto your right ankle with your left hand and twist. And then changing sides. Hold onto the left ankle with your right hand, twist. Hands down in the middle, walk those feet in towards each other, just a little bit closer. And on a breath out, curling up. One vertebrae at a time. Working through that spine. Sliding up. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you so much.